Welcome back. We're having such a good time here on the show today. We're with uh, also uh, Anna Marie's, or Aunt, Aunt, <laughs> Aunt Lindley's here. I'm not helping you. Anna Marie just left, and we're talking about crawdad days. Please help me out of this hole. <laughs> That's your job. <laughs> we are glad to have with us Jim Johnson and Marsha Carter to talk more about um, some of the festivities going on at Crawdad Days. And Jim is in charge of the music, and you are going to speak about the 5K. I am so who would around. like to talk first about their event? Now, the the 5K is sponsored by North Arkansas Regional Medical Center. Right? It is, Dan, and it has been for almost 20 years. Wow. Um, just an amazing event, and it is a 5K run and walk. So for those of you... Those of you who are not aware, a 5K is 3.1 mile, and um, we're just excited oh, to bring well the event aware. again. <laughs> we have over 500 people signed up already, and wow. we try to make it a family event, so we added the Crawdad Crawl. Even mm -hmm. though we call it a crawl, it, it really is not. It's an obstacle course for kids, basically. Mm -hmm. And um, everyone is a winner, and they all get um, Sonic goodies and Wacky Packs um, from Sonic and Happy Meals from McDonald's for free. And is that geared toward a certain age? It is. Zero, we have two age groups in that crawl, zero to four and five to nine. Okay. And some kids participate in both. They'll do the crawl and they'll also do the walk run. Wow. So, and that's fine. They can do both. No, no problem because the crawl is not a long distance. It's very short. Mm -hmm. um, the registration fee from this point on is $25 per person. For the crawl dead crawl, it is only $3. Um, but you get a t-shirt and a free lunch bag and all kinds of neat stuff. So um, you can register by going online at www.narmc.com okay. or crawdaddays.com, either one. You you can stop by the chamber and get an entry form. I'm going to leave some here at your station. Okay. And uh, the hospital has some as well in the public relations mm -hmm. office. So we'd love to have you. Now, this is a fundraiser for the hospital? Um, if there are any funds left over, okay. they yeah. are contributed to our foundation. However, over the years, we have bought things like a starting gun, a start and finish right. banners, right. Uh -huh. um, a PA system, a bullhorn, mm -hmm. you know, to really um, increase the effectiveness of the race itself. Right. Right. So yeah. um, there's a lot of expenses involved as far as awards and T-shirts and um, tons of labor, which we donate. But, yeah, um, yeah, it's, yeah, it's an expensive mm -hmm. venture. Mm -hmm. No good. doubt. But a good one. Yeah. Very good one. Now let's, let's talk about music. Let's do it. You're the music guy. Well, I, I you've been have, you've been you, uh, you help. I help. I help. I, I, I'm so you're the you're the. He can't even tell. I, 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 what? Well, <laughs> Jamie Holt does all the behind the scene work. Well, we oh, we okay. want Jamie to we want Jamie to be a behind the, yeah. the scenes. Believe me, <laughs> trust me. He needs to be. Behind I've been the told scenes. I'm the face of Jamie Holt. I'm not sure what that means. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but no, Jamie's got all those contacts and does such a good job behind the scenes bringing bands in, and mm -hmm. and I just kind of help promote. Okay. So. Been, and we've got a great lineup. Oh man, we're real excited about the lineup. You know, this we year. changed it a little bit. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, I, I think uh, on fr Fridays was a, all has always been a hard thing to fill Friday nights, and then I think for two years we did the talent show, mm -hmm. and then that changed for more of a, a, a total band, total music, which is mm -hmm. that's what the festival is all about, is a music festival. Yeah, the music has been a, a, a changing, you know, thing for, for years. And, and we think we have the format right as far as having different genres mm -hmm. of music and stuff. And, and adding Friday night, I think, is just going to add to it. We're going to start Friday night at 6 o'clock. Uh, now, there'll be activities, as, as Anna Marie mentioned earlier, as far as the, the booths and the food vendors going all afternoon on Friday. But mm -hmm. we're going to start with music at 6 o'clock on the main stage. All the music's on the main stage, which is just to the, the Mini Harris Park, just to the east of the Main Street Bridge, where it <laughs> always is. And uh, Bo Jenkins and the Bootleggers will kick things off mm -hmm. at 6 o'clock. They're going to be followed by uh, another local band. Uh, seven o'clock old school okay and then we're super excited and I know you love uh, what we're gonna have oh, yeah. Dan we've talked yeah. about it at 815 Anthony Gomes Anthony Gomes was here last year a blues guitarist extraordinaire mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I was doing some research on him and I see that it's on the the flyer now he was named the 2011 yeah. by Billboard magazine yeah. number wow. one blues artist mm -hmm. of the year mm -hmm. just anyone that if you like blues you'll be crazy about yeah, it yeah. even if you're not a blues fan you're gonna be amazed by well, it. one thing okay. about Anthony that and he, he's he's old school in his thought process about playing he'll play anywhere and he'll play for just about any amount of money yeah. because he's so passionate about the music that he plays and if you appreciate good fine music 
uh, he, he, a great voice. He writes all of his songs, uh, and he's uh, he's got a great band. I yeah. just watched some stuff on YouTube the other day, and it, he's going to kick butt when he gets here. Yeah. So you need to come out and see that. I lived in St. Louis for a few years, and anybody that's familiar with St. Louis, Terry, there's a south part of St. Louis called Soulard. It's all blues bars, mm -hmm. blues uh, places. It's phenomenal, and he reminds me of those guys. Yeah. Well, he, that's where he lives. Yeah. That's where his home and that, base and it, is. You yeah. know, just, Go in there, sit on a stool with a guitar, yeah. mm -hmm. and just play. Mm -hmm. uh, but you know, it, great he, event. Yeah, he's going to be great, and it's going to be worthwhile. He'll bring your lawn you. chair, yeah. come out, and and enjoy the evening that, on Friday. I think we want to encourage that. Remember to bring your lawn chairs so that you, right. you can sit on the ground if you want. Uh, you, you know, the nights have been a little chilly, so I mean, might want to bring a little blanket, blanket too, because it might might be a little chilly. Yeah, we, and as we talk, weather it can change. Weather forecast is is it actually in the 60s? About like what we're experiencing right, right. right now this week. It's supposed to be about the same. Uh, a little bit warmer on Saturday, so yeah, on Friday night I would definitely, uh, you know, bring a jacket, bring a bring mm -hmm. a blanket, and just sit back and enjoy yourself. Yeah. So what about Saturday? Saturday uh, is going to be phenomenal. Also, we've got a great variety uh, of music on Saturday. We're going to kick off the main stage again at one o'clock with D's and Friends. Uh, mm -hmm. They've been playing mm -hmm. for several years for us, and they've opened the event the last few years. They'll start at one o'clock, like I said. Then at two fifteen, the Coffee Brothers Band will be. Good. Uh, yeah, they're good. Yeah, they'll be on stage. Then back by popular demand, a, a local following for Spinrad and Spinrad we had two or three years ago. Didn't have them last year. Got a lot of emails. Why not? So they're back. You ask and you shall receive. So I think they're from Springfield. I yeah, think. yeah, they're, and they're a good bunch of guys. Yeah, they are, but a good bunch of guys. Then at four thirty, Carnes and the Heaters will be performing. And then really what would be considered our, our headliners start at 6 o'clock. And another back by popular demand is Bruce Sunpie Barnes. Last year we didn't have a quote unquote Cajun act. Mm -hmm. Someone mm -hmm. said we need one. Bruce is one that we've had uh, probably three or four times, but it's been about four years since he's been here. He's the real deal. Yeah. I mean, he'll get you in the mood to eat crawdads. Mm -hmm. All so, right, then. So he'll he'll get it going, and he'll play. Is that what you hired him for? Now, you've got to get people to eat crawdads. Yeah, yeah, and he'll do it. <laughs> he'll do it. He, he'll he have the, you know, the, the twang it's going on. It's that deep, deep Louisiana yeah, stuff. Yeah. yeah, he'll do it. And then uh, another band uh, after him at 730 that's got a lot of local appeal mm -hmm. that's really skyrocketing, I think was going to be someone that we see at the next level uh, someday, and that's the George Brothers. They're tremendous. Mm -hmm. um, and they'll play at 7.30. And then the, the main act starting at 9 o'clock is going to be something a little different than what we've had. He's going to do two different sets, and it's Johnny Solinger. He's currently um, what is classified as Red Dirt Country. Uh, he's going to do his, his solo act, which is country music, which is um, uh, going to be his first set that he'll do. And then he will do what's going to relate to a lot of old 70 and 80 rockers <laughs> oh boy. and like yep. us. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. uh, Glad you is, guys are in that yeah. category. Well, I didn't say 40s and 50s, Dan. Anyway. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Uh -oh. exactly. I walked into that yeah, one. Yeah, you did. Uh, he is currently the lead singer for Skid Row. Everybody knows uh, Skid so, Row. So, yeah. Is. You know, uh, had some hits back in the, in the in 80s and 90s. and. And he took over for Sebastian Bach, who was right. their right. Uh, lead singer back before that. But he's then going to play a set of that music. So he's going to play some what country, fun. and he's going to play some mm -hmm. pretty serious rock and roll. So he should appeal. He's going to appeal to a lot everybody. of people that yeah. way. Yeah. yeah, cool. But we're wow, real excited. Great lineup. Yeah. And you don't have to worry about uh, space down there. I, I know when we uh, we had um, uh, Kentucky Headhunters. I mean, it was packed down there. Mm -hmm. And, and there was plenty of room still, so I mean, don't worry about that. And will the shuttles be going that late at shuttles night? Shuttles be going in, even through the show and afterwards, so people, good deal. Uh, you know that. And and, and, and I want to encourage you. Mentioned or uh, Anna Marie mentioned before, uh, we've talked to some people. You know, you can park as far up as the federal building and, and okay. Northside Church of Christ parking lot, that way. all the way up into there, and they'll kind of come up to that intersection because after the show, obviously, we don't want to shuttle you down there and not get you back right. to your car. So right. they'll. They'll get you back also. And, and like you said, the venue down there kind of makes a natural bowl as that mm -hmm, hill goes mm -hmm, up. And mm -hmm. uh, we've been real fortunate to fill it up the last two years, and we want to do it again this year. Mm -hmm. okay. I bet you will. Great event again this year, the 22nd anniversary. 22nd. Do you, do you remember going back that far, the first one? So. I, I, I was, I've been at 18 of them. I've been involved in 18. Yeah. So okay. I, I go back that far. And, and uh, yeah, I was just uh, thinking about uh, the when it was... Um, all on the square mm -hmm. back back mm -hmm. when it first started mm -hmm. and, and uh, it was a 
Crawdad Days came in after Dog Patch Days died yeah. when Dog Patch closed down. So, so that yeah. actually took the place of Dog Patch yeah. Days, didn't it? Sure did. Neat. Neat. Well, thanks so much for being here, guys. Thank you. Thank Another you. great event. We encourage everyone to come out in our viewing area. Even we have a lot of people coming over from Mount Home for this event too. So uh, we encourage everyone to come out. Make sure that you, you, there's plenty of parking. Uh, there's going to be shuttle buses all around. Don't Just uh, wave the them down and, and get a free ride down to the main action down there at uh, Minnie Harris Park down on uh, Lake Harrison. Anything else you'd like to add? No, I think you've said it all. Oh, we'd like to thank all the guests that have been on the show today. We had Courtney Miller. And we had, what was her name again? Michelle, uh, Michelle Tatum, Tatum and Lauren Tepper. And Lauren Tepper, yes. We also had Anna Marie Sullivan. We had Anna Marie Sullivan. It. And Bruce Salzman. And we had Bruce Salzman. Jim Johnson and Marsha Carter. And Jim Carter. Johnson and Marsha Carter. And you. And Always me. Always a pleasure, Dan. Thank you. Wish me luck. Give me more. What Luck on what? On my big weekend. You having a big weekend? Warrior Dash. Oh, yeah. Loser! Uh, the only blah, blah, thing blah. I can think of is crash and burn for some reason. Oh, but, that's real funny. Yeah. Thanks. We'll okay. see you again next time. And we'll see you again next time.